Okay, so if any of you guys out there have ever uh, thought about what would make a really good camping sweater or jacket, okay, uh, this this here is a sweater that I bought um, before the beginning of winter last year. Um, it's a 100% Norwegian wool. Uh, it's fleece lined. I bought it in Red Deer someplace. Uh, most of, it's kind of an Aussie, one of those Aussie things, you know, it's an Australian store. Um, it was about 120 bucks, something like that. But you can uh, you can plainly see that with the wool. I mean, it, I just went for about a 15 minute walk. I had been sitting around the ca the campfire, um, but uh, went for about a 15 minute walk, and obviously there is no heat loss from my body coming through this. I've wore a lot of different layers that over the years um, just ended up soaked. And that's what this one would be, right? If if you were to wear this and there was any amount of body heat coming through, the snow would be melting and this, this sweater would be soaking wet. And then of course you'd be freezing. So um, yeah, I'm out at Cutoff Creek. It's it's a beautiful day. Um, got a fire going, got the stove going in the in the tent. Um, I'm just happy. Got a cold beer in my hand. Might switch over to a hot chocolate, maybe with a little bit of Bailey's. Um, but yeah, this is, and you know, you can take this, give it a quick little brush, and poof, it's, it's absolutely dry. So I would highly, highly recommend to anybody, um, Norwegian wool, or is some kind of a heavy, heavy wool sweater. They seem to be all the rage. You see them in a lot of the stores, all right? See you later.